You've tried it in Notion, but how do you actually set it up in Roam Research? You start with pipelines. I know it's called pillars, pipelines, and vaults, but it's actually easier to start with pipelines. Pipelines are projects or a string of projects under the same common umbrella. Things like, I'm gonna make my next feature film, I'm gonna gain 20 pounds of muscle this year, I'm going to take three trips with my friends, my family, my partner, etc. So as always, start in your daily notes section and then create a pipeline page and go in and create a few pipelines that you're working on at the moment. So these are just some examples that I put in for myself. So I'm developing my next feature film at the moment. I wanna grow this YouTube channel to 1000 subs by the end of the year. Come up with concise versions for these so that way they're easier to tag. Then turn them into pages. But wait, this just came to me. I'm guessing that you're asking yourself a very important question right now, which probably goes something like this. If Rome is non-hierarchical and if Rome is associative, then why on earth are we trying to fit PPV into Rome? The thing is that while our brains think in networks and Rome copies that idea, our daily workflows and especially our content pipelines are usually fundamentally hierarchical. So when we're looking for inspiration or feeling creatively stuck, then Rome's free flowing approach is perfect. But when it comes to just getting things done, it's usually easier to go hierarchical. The good news is that you can actually have it both ways and I'll tell you why this works in a minute. So now you have your pipeline pages and the goal will be to tag each and every incoming note with one of those pipelines so that way you can connect the two. Or you can instead connect them to a pillar or a vault. Let's do pillars next. So make your pillar page. Pillars are fundamental concepts or ventures or even values that are core to you. Examples, for me that include such things as film, health, wealth, inspiration. Of course, there's relationships, which can be romantic, friendship, family, whatever is most core to your life right now. And don't be afraid to say it exactly as it is. In this step, you really don't wanna to pretend to be somebody you're not. For example, wealth can mean different things to different people. If for you right now, that happens to be simply money and a lot of it, and all you're focused on right now is the hard number in your bank account, then write that down. There's nothing wrong with that. And also don't come up with too many pillars here. But even if you do, you're going to notice that you're going to be tagging some of them a lot more, which then are going to reveal themselves as being the ones that are most central to your life. So one page for each of those. Finally, make your vaults page and vaults are for knowledge storage. So you kind of have two options here. You can leave this extremely unorganized for now and then start organizing your notes after the fact, as you're starting to see patterns emerge between your different snippets of knowledge that you want to hold on to or you can structure this a little bit right now up front and make pages for things like books or courses morning journal etc these are things that you can do now or you can wait for these patterns to reveal themselves over time and now comes the most crucial step in all of this house these three pages in your shortcuts you can do that by simply going up here to the three little dots and then press the add to shortcuts button and you're gonna see them appear on the left hand side here. And now with each and every note that comes into your daily note section, at the end of the day, go through each note and tag them with either hashtag pillars, hashtag pipeline or hashtag vault. So that way they're gonna appear in one of those three pages. And then I would suggest that once a week, you go through each of the three pages and you process those pages in detail by assigning each and every note to a specific pillar, a specific pipeline, or a specific vault if you already have them. And so here's an example of three things that might appear in my daily notes section by the end of the day, either because I put it directly in there or because it's synced to the notes section via an external app like Readwise because I highlighted something in a book. And so this is what you see here. It might be a book highlight, it might be a note I had related to one of my projects that's top of mind right now. And it might be a stream of consciousness note that relates to one of my core pillars in life. Now I'm going through and I'm tagging each of them with the relevant hashtag. And now they're appearing in the relevant pages. And now let's say we're at the end of the week and I'm going into each of those pages. And now I'm assigning this note to a specific pillar, a specific pipeline, and a specific vault, which are personal to me and part of my overall system. So these are gonna be different for you, but the process can stay the same and that way your graph stays nice, clean, and organized. Of course, you can change the frequency here and do this more often or less often, but do the first step once a day. That way your graph stays nice and clean and you're able to maintain that structure without devoting a crazy amount of time to note processing. Here's the most important thing. Remember how I said that you can have it both ways, that you don't have to choose between hierarchical and associative network. 
Here's how. Even when you create and maintain a hierarchical structure like this PPV system in Rome, it doesn't actually get in the way of you using Rome's tools for creative inspiration, such as the sidebar and unlinked references to keywords for quicker content creation. This video shows you how.